Monday matinees begin right here on the Mutual Audio Network. The following audio drama is rated PG for parental guidance. Hello and welcome to another production of Red Hawk Radio Theater. You're listening to The Search for Avery Jane, written by Becca Peach. James, a newly single father, finds himself lost after his daughter Avery goes missing. He devotes his life to finding her, and even in the darkest of times, he never gives up hope. He states away. Grace and her two best friends make it their summer mission to solve this mystery. Little do they know what adventures, mishaps, and answers they'll find along the way. Listen along as these friends road trip across America in the search for Avery Jane. November 3rd, 2004, 3.07 p.m., Clarksburg, West Virginia, Harrison County Courthouse. I hereby grant full custody of Avery Jane Turner to her father, James Thomas Turner, due to her history of violence and bipolar disorder, Mother Catherine Ann Wilson will receive bi-monthly visits under the supervision of the child's father. Oh, thank you, God! No, she's my daughter, too! Please, you can't do this! Let me see my girl! Please calm down, Miss Turner. The decision has been made, and I believe you have little eyes watching you. Avery! Mommy loves you! I'll see you soon! I promise, baby! I promise! Mama, go bye-bye? Avery, sweetheart, I promise I will never let anything bad happen to you. Never. Never, ever? That's right. Ever, ever, ever. November 4th, 2004. 11.43 a.m. Clarksburg, West Virginia. Turner Family Home. Avery, your lunch is ready. PB&J, your favorite. I know you love Mickey Mouse, but TV time is over. Come eat. Avery, I know you can hear me. Avery? Avery? Avery, this isn't funny. Avery? Avery? Avery! 911, what's your emergency? My daughter is gone and I don't know where she went. She was just here a minute ago. I was making lunch and I came back and she was gone. I've looked everywhere and I can't find her. I just got custody yesterday. Please calm down, sir. Help is on the way. What is your name? James Turner. Okay, James, thank you. What is your daughter's name and how old is she? Her name is Avery. She's three. She turned three in May. Okay, keep looking, James. Could she be outside? No, I don't think so. She's never done that before. She can't reach the handles yet. Or maybe she's tall enough now. I I don't know. Can you check outside for me, James? Yeah, yeah, I can do that. Good idea. Okay, you look and I'll stay on the line until help arrives. Okay, thank you. I'm looking now. Avery! She's not in the garage. I'm going outside now. That's great, James. Don't worry, we'll find her. Avery! Avery! I think I see the police lights. Yeah, that's them. What am I supposed to do now? I need you to tell them everything you told me. They'll help you find her. Just let me know when they've pulled up to your driveway. Okay. Okay, yeah. They're here. Thank you. My pleasure. Good luck, James. You'll find her, I'm sure. November 12th, 2004. It's James Turner. Have you heard anything? I'm sorry, sir. Nobody has called the station today. Right. Sorry. That's okay. Thank you. Hello? Hi, James. Are we still meeting up Wednesday so I can see Avery? Oh. God. Oh. God, Catherine. James, what's wrong? You're you're scaring me. She's gone, Catherine. She's gone, and I don't know where she went, and I can't find her. The police can't find her. Oh, God. You lost our daughter? How the hell did you lose a, a person, let alone your child? Are you kidding me, James? You're joking. This isn't funny. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, and I promised her never, ever, ever. She's a little girl, James, not a lost puppy. I'll find her myself. December 25th, 2004. Hey, it's James. Any word today? No, I'm so sorry, James. Oh. Okay. Merry Christmas. You too. April 23rd, 2005. Hello? This is James? Hello, James. No news today. How are you doing? Oh, you know, the same. I've started to actually use my computer to be proactive. Her photo is on that missing kids website. I read an article that said they found a little girl in Indiana. She doesn't know her parents. I have some real hope about this one. That's really great. I wish you the best of luck. August 19th, 2007. Hey, Lisa. 
No news, I'm guessing? No news today. Well, no news is good news. I joined that support group you told me about. That's great. I think it will be really good for you. I think so, too. I just saw something online about a kid that had been missing for five years, and they found him. That one was in New Mexico, I think. I'm still holding out for my sweet Avery to turn up. Oh, James. November 4th, 2012. Hey, Lisa. I can't believe it's been eight whole years. I still miss her. Hi, is this James? Lisa retired last week, and she told me you might call. How are you doing? May 11th, 2017. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, sweet Avery. Happy birthday to you. <sighs> May 22nd, 2017. degrees, Oklahoma. I'm leaving. Bye, Mom. I thought I was taking you to school today. No, Kennedy just got her license and she's taking me. I thought I told you that. You didn't, and it's the last week of your sophomore year. I won't be able to drive you next year. Yeah, that's the point. She's here. Bye, Mom. Love you, too. Yo, Grace, what is up, my dude? Did you finish the chem homework? I didn't get number three. Good morning to you, too. Good morning. Jesus, can you just go a little faster, please? We're going to be late. Who spit on your Pop-Tart this morning? What? I'm stressed, okay? Is it going to kill you if we stop and get Ethan? Not if you tell me what you got for number three. Blue folder, front pocket. Thanks. 38.4 moles. Great. God, I hate stoichiometry. Yeah, well, stoichiometry hates you too. Guys, I just had the most random thing emailed to me this morning. God, doesn't anyone know how to say good morning or thank you so much for taking us to school so we don't have to ride the bus or with our crazy mom? What's her problem? Beats me. Bro, is that the chem homework? Did you get number three? Yep, it's 38.4 moles. I think you mean what did I get for number three? Yeah, we get it, Kennedy. You're the smart one here. Sorry, I actually do my homework. We do our homework. We just needed a little help. Copying is not help. Ladies, ladies, please, it's finals week. We cannot start it off like this. Are you guys ready for them? Of course. I studied, like, all weekend. Why do you think I didn't respond to the group chat the whole weekend? I studied, but I'm so nervous. I, I have to get an A in chem or my mom will kill me. Oof, that's rough. C's get degrees, baby. We're in high school, Ethan. That doesn't apply yet. Listen, I'm just trying to graduate. So, what about that thing you had sent to you? Oh, yeah. So, I got an email that kind of looked like spam, but I opened it anyway. It talked about a girl who went missing, like, 13 years ago, and they never found her. Just vanished right out of her own house in, I don't remember, one of the Virginias, I think. Apparently, her dad went, like, crazy or something. He's still looking for her. Weird. I got that one, too. I didn't think much of it, though. So did I. I didn't open it. That's sad, though. I wonder if she's even still alive. And that, my friends, is what we will be figuring out this summer. You want to solve a 13-year-old mystery about a missing girl and her crazy father? Sounds like a summer wasted to me. I don't know, Ken. It actually seems kind of interesting, and also a little weird that we all got the same email. It's like fate or something. It'll be so cool. We'll be like the mystery gang. I'd be Fred, of course. Grace, you'd be Daphne, and Kennedy, you'd be Velma. Ew. We will not be Daphne and Fred. You're shaggy at best. But yeah, Velma fits you perfectly, Ken. Fine. I'll be shaggy, but only if I can bring Sadie. Bring Sadie? Bring her where, exactly? To whichever Virginia this dude lives. We get a road trip and a mystery-solving summer all in one. You are not bringing your stinky dog in my car. So does that mean you'll drive? I didn't say that. Mystery-solving summer! Yeah, mystery-solving summer! Out of my way, fresh meat. Freshman? Seriously? We're not fresh... Oh, he's walking away. Okay, okay, he's gone now. It's okay. He'll be there to insult you again after first period. <sighs> I know. Let's get to class. We're going to be late. No, we're not, Grace. Hello? I thought I told you not to call this number anymore. That's why I gave you the other number. You know what? It's fine. What do you need? Are you serious? I requested those last week. What exactly am I paying you for? Never mind. Wrong number. 
And make sure to call the right one next time. Who is that? Oh, nobody. Just an old friend from high school. How was your day, sweetheart? Didn't really sound like a friend and fine, I guess. It's school or so, like, pretty boring. Oh, don't say that, Grace. You don't know how lucky you are to be at such a great school. A lot of girls your age aren't afforded the same luxury. Okay, Mom, can't you just let me wallow in my teen angst for once? Of course not. What kind of mom would that make me? A normal one? I'm, I'm going to study. Wait a second, Grace. I've been meaning to ask you. Do you have any plans for the summer? I was thinking we could stay at... Arcadia Lake, like we used to. Actually, I do have plans, and they'll probably take up most of the summer. Sorry. What exactly are you doing that it will take up the entire summer? The only acceptable answer here would be getting a job. Kennedy, Ethan, and I are going to go on a road trip. Where? Uh, one of the Virginias. I'll, I'll look into it and let you know. So, were you planning on asking me, or were you just going to pack up and leave? You're still 15. Yeah, but I'm almost 16. And I was going to ask after we got the details worked out. I don't even know which Virginia we're going to yet. Well, the answer is no. You're not going. Seriously? Why not? Because I said so. I'm the mom and you're the kid. But I'm not a kid anymore. Dad would have let me go. Oh, wait. I guess I don't really know if he would since he left you. I don't blame him for leaving. Grace Elizabeth, you are grounded for a month. Go to your room. Good. That's where I was trying to go this whole time anyway. Hey, Ken. Add Ethan in. Okay, guys. I figured it out. Figured what out? I still have to study. That can wait. It's west. West. West what? Virginia! Yes. And we're going. I'm going to plan everything out very strategically. I've already started. I'm hanging up. Wait. Wait. What if we made a little detour to go see the world's largest ball of twine? I'm listening. And maybe we could squeeze in a day trip to Holiday World? Okay, yes, I'm sold. That was oddly simple. Are you kidding me? A theme park that literally has a land for all of my favorite holidays? Christmas, Thanksgiving, Halloween, and the 4th of July? That's like all of the holidays. Not Easter, or Labor Day, or Memorial Day, or Veterans Day, or Flag Day, or Hanukkah, or... You're not even Jewish! Okay, let's just take this one as a win and move on, shall we? I've saved all my money since third grade for a moment just like this. All the movies I had to wait to watch on Netflix. All the candy bars I passed up when the choir kids sold them. That's honestly a shame. I'm pretty sure I gain like five pounds every fall just from the caramel ones alone. You need help. Grace, be ready at 7.40, Ethan at 7.45. 7.35? Oh my gosh, we aren't going to be late! That's what you said this morning. 7.38. Bye! Later, weirdos! Ethan, please study at least a little bit. We'll see. Okay, now that she's gone, let the real planning commence. Ethan, I don't know if I can go. Why? You didn't already talk to your mom, did you? She pried it out of me. That was literally the exact opposite of our plans. But you know how she is. She said something about taking a trip, and I said I had plans already. And, well, you can imagine how the rest of the conversation went. I'm actually grounded right now. Ouch. And you still have your phone. Kind of surprising. I know. She usually takes it during finals week anyway. Maybe she's finally realizing that I'm not a little kid anymore. Grace, unlock the door right now. Speak of the devil. I have to go. Wish me luck. Good luck. Open the door, please. I'm coming. What? Give me your phone. Mom! Now, Grace, I'm not going to ask you again. Fine. Until you start respecting me, I'm going to hold on to this. And you're not going on that silly road trip to West Virginia. I never told you we were going to West Virginia. Oh my God, Mom, are you listening in on my conversation? Like I said, you're going to start respecting me. Respect earns respect. I'll call you down when dinner is done. Ugh! May 23rd, 2017. Clarksburg, West Virginia. 7.06 p.m. Her birthday was yesterday. I can't seem to wrap my head around the fact that she's 16. Maybe she got her license yesterday. Or maybe she went to her first prom. I like to think about those things. Sometimes. It makes it easier. I wonder if she's safe and well taken care of. If she's anything like you, James, I'm sure she's the most determined and hardworking girl out there. And thank you for the cake. It gets better every year.
All right, I think that's about all for tonight. Feel free to stay and mingle and have another slice of James' delicious birthday cake. Hey, James, I just really wanted to say that I think it's really great you haven't given up hope on Avery. It's getting more and more difficult these days. Nearly 13 years is a long time. I know, but you can't give up. Your hope is so inspiring to the rest of us. We just couldn't bear to see you throw in the towel after everything. Really? Everyone? Not everyone. Some of the other women think you're seeking attention at this point, that you should give it up. But I, I know you're not. I appreciate it. Maybe they're right, though. This is my whole life. I go to work. I come home. I do research online and fantasize about what my life was supposed to be like. And every Monday I come here. But then what? Will she ever come home? Of course she will. I lost my son nine years ago in a car accident. I know he's not coming back. But Avery can come back. And she will. I'm sorry. Don't be. We both know loss. You just never got closure. You haven't stopped grieving. And you're going to find it, I promise. How can you possibly promise that? Just trust me. I guess I have no other choice, huh? This has been a production of Red Hawk Radio Theater, recorded and produced in KRCU Public Radio Studios on the campus of Southeast Missouri State University. The Search for Avery Jane was written by Becca Peach. James was played by Nick Bixler, Catherine and Beth by Aliyah Ramos. Grace was played by Nadira Muhammad. Kennedy and young Avery were played by Gabrielle Freitas. Ethan was played by Grant Kaltenbach. Elise was played by Amber Nelson. The senior student and the judge played by Josh Bernstein. Dispatcher 2, support group leader, were played by Isabel Nauman. Dispatcher 1, played by Becca Peach. I provided voiceover in addition to audio editing and creating the intro and outro music. All sound effects are either public domain or licensed under Creative Commons. Thanks for listening. Tune in next week to hear more of the story of the search for Avery Jane. Hi there. Are you a fan of all things horror? Yeah? You are? Well, in that case, find Tuesday Terrors, which is the mutual audio feed that comes out on a Tuesday, believe it or not. Shock horror, I know. But if you subscribe there, you'll find amazing horror fiction audio in your player every Tuesday. Yeah. Tuesday Terrors. Subscribe to the Mutual Audio Network. The Mutual Audio Network. Listening and imagining together.